Good morning, everybody. The daylight hours are winding down already. I'm waiting to get unloaded. My appointment is at 9 p.m. in Laredo, Texas. I'm sitting up about 30 miles north of Laredo in En... I couldn't pronounce it yesterday either. Ensenida? Ensenida? A little town here and a truck stop, a road ranger. That's where we're at, waiting to go unload. There's a loves across the street. It's pretty warm. <laughs> You're not gonna lie. It's pretty warm. I've been sitting here with the windows down most of the day in a t-shirt. It's January. It's 12 degrees Celsius and that's cold for them. I looked at their forecast for the rest of the week. It's gonna be like 25 degrees Celsius the rest of the week. So right now we're sitting in like the 50s Fahrenheit. Their regular temperature looks like it's in the 70s in January. I saw motorcycles riding around yesterday and I saw palm trees. I did, I didn't show them in the vlog because it was already nighttime, but my life is complete. I saw my first palm tree of 2024. It was, it was very, very exciting. I don't get to see them very often. through the heat my body has already adjusted and gotten used to cold weather for winter back home so coming down here my body's like what's going on I thought it was winter time is it still January did we fall asleep did we sleep all the way till like May I'm trying to figure out what's going on so I'm like sweating away here everyone else is probably doing just fine but this Canadian is melting we're 30 miles from the Mexico border closest to the Mexico border I've been in about 15 years so that was an exciting trip for me. It was a little bit out of the ordinary for me. Stretched my legs a little bit. It was a good rounder. I have a reload that's taking me back to Winnipeg. I, I gotta go pick it up near Houston tomorrow. But for now, we gotta wait. It'll be dark already by the time we start our day. Because I've been sitting here since yesterday. We're gonna start our day. We're gonna go and uh, get unloaded at 9 o'clock and then get as close to Houston as we can tonight yet. Probably drive past midnight. The sun is down and I'm ready to start my day. It's going to be a night trucking day today so the vlog will be a little dark. Apologies in advance. We're still going to have fun. Let's go get this freight off my trailer and get out of here. Get back to Houston. Trailer is still attached. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Uh, you 
you never know with people. Sometimes they turn their signal on for no reason. I'm just going to wait and make sure. Yes, he is turning. Okay, well, he had his signal on, so I just didn't trust it. Look at that old blue, you see that? Right in front of you. Something up with that light though. But here we are. I'm 15 minutes early. I just talked to the guy who's gonna come here and meet me. Told him where I was. He'll be here in about 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna go say hello to my little friend over here. There's a special place in my heart for palm trees.
first I have to make sure there's no like snakes or spiders or things around here that I shouldn't be near. We're not in Manitoba anymore. Okay, nothing around here. Always be vigilant of where you're stepping, especially when you're going into the grass. Okay. Nothing there, nothing there. Nothing on the trunk. All right, well. Had to hug it. It's a good day. I know I'm like 10 years old, whatever. Don't spoil my good mood. Palm trees put me in a good mood. Well, now that we got that over with, straight down to business. I'm gonna crawl inside the trailer here. Get everything ready to go. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be unloading like around here or back over there, but I'll take a look. See if I can show you inside the trailer here a little bit. It's I don't have a lot in there. Come on, focus. Focus. No, there's not enough light in there right now. See? Oh, oh. No, camera's not. Can you sort of see where they are there? Sorry, guys. Too dark in there. Look at this. January 2024. Walking around, no toque, t shirt. I wish my wife and son were here. Then I'd have everything that makes me happy all in one place. My son, my wife, palm trees, and Old Blue. Wouldn't that be great? One day. One day, that's why we got these tattoos. Britt got one too. See, oh. Britt's got a matching one on her leg to remind me all the time to plan vacations. Because you know, life gets away from you quick. And you gotta remember to stop, slow down, and go have some fun. And just for the record, I know on the way down here, I'm not, I wasn't familiar with this area at all. I'm still not familiar with it. And I was a little bit nervous about coming down here. I just wanna let you know that those worries were unfounded. From what I've seen here so far, and where I spent the night in this area here, Laredo's very nice, and I would have had no problem staying here overnight. It would have been no problem at all. It's, it seems like a very nice place, though I've only been here for a very short time, so I don't know, but. Well, there's two of us here unloading. So that's Roger there in his truck. They're unloading him first, and then they're gonna unload me. I figured there must be a second truck on this load because this is what I had on. They haven't unloaded anything yet. And I've just taken the straps off the first bundle. That's what I mean, like it wasn't that much. And I knew this couldn't be the whole thing, right? And I was right, he's got the other part. Looks like they're just about done with him though, so I better get my stuff ready to go. Just gotta get two more straps off of here. I've got to be very careful taking it off. It can be a little bit delicate. This will be a lot easier. T-shirt. Can't get over that. January. <laughs> and to them it's cold here right now. No, to me it's nice. So my plan from here is to get as close to Houston as I can. So I'll be driving into the night. I explained this to you before already, right? We'll see how far we can get. I'll drive till I'm tired, but I slept pretty late. I slept most of the day, actually, half the day away, so I've got quite a bit of energy now. And uh, we'll see how it works out. We get to where we get to. As long as I get to my customer tomorrow between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m., uh, we'll be good to go. I'll load everything up and start headed home. We're all done. So I wanna get back and past San Antonio. That's my goal for tonight. I wanna to at least get back through San Antonio so I don't have to do that traffic tomorrow. 
I'll get as close to Houston as I can. It's actually not on the west side of Houston that I'm picking up. It's the north side near Conroe, Texas. So I will have to go through Houston tomorrow. I don't think I'll be able to go. I don't think I'll make it all the way there tonight yet. That's a long way. That's about uh, six, six and a half hours from here. Uh, so we'll see how I feel, but I'll probably end up stopping somewhere between San Antonio and Houston. So let's get going. Sergeant. Palm trees. Palm trees. Proceed to the highlighted route. That made me happy. Palm trees. I've got a lot of energy, so I, my sleep that I got there was uh, very good. So I'm just gonna park here if I can. Is there any temporary parking anywhere? Just in front of the pumps. Could be running. San Antonio. I wanna get through here. So after I get reloaded, we're gonna be going back up through uh, meters, Oklahoma right City. On, US 90 West I-10 East, US 90 East, US 87 South and then keep to the right at 130 meters. Yikes. But we're gonna be going past that same cheap fuel on the way back. So I've gotta grab a little bit of fuel now here in San Antonio. Uh, they've got the second cheapest fuel on my road home. Keep to the right. So we're gonna grab 50 gallons here. And then tomorrow. 
tomorrow when we pass through Oklahoma City on the way home, we'll stop again and grab some good old Oklahoma juice. Save a bit of money. About 10 miles up ahead here uh, on Interstate 10, with exit 532. Kilometers. There's a pilot or a flying J there, that's where we're going to pull in. I've noticed that Texas likes to build highways in the sky. And I know we've been going through Texas mostly at nighttime lately. But uh, look at this. Can you see this? I wonder if the camera is going to pick this up. There's, there's like a road that they're building. Keep to the left on I-10 East Take, Ackerman Road. No, it's not showing up in the camera as it is too dark. whole interchange here, that highway is going to be like 20 stories in the sky. In 300 meters, take Ackerman Road, Kirby and then turn left in 410 meters. Where am I going? Wait, I want to go right here, don't I? Does this road go right? This road goes right, yes. Oh, my lane ends though. Oh, okay. In 300 meters, turn left on Ackerman Road and then Turn right into 130 meters. Am I there yet? Oh, here's a petrol. Petrol stopping sign. I want to go left. Okay. Flying J's across on the other side. All this con construction is so confusing right now. Am I in my lane? There's no lines. Oh, I see the Flying J over there. How do I get in there? Turn right on, connecting road and then approaching destination on the right side in Drop. 20 meters. Entry only. Okay, well, let's go in here. Remind me not to go out this way. Oh, this is one of those tight ones. That is busy at the pumps. What in the world, middle of the night? What's going on here? Everyone's just parked in the pumps, sleeping. Is that what's going on? No one's fueling, really. <laughs> all these trucks in the fuel aisles, no one's, no one's fueling. They're all just parked in there. Well, I'm gonna fuel. Just a little bit, though. Just a bit. Oh, ow. Houston and around, it's about 600 miles. That should be good.
So I think I got some good distance behind me uh, for driving into the night like this. The sun's not up yet, so that's a good sign. That's one good thing about this season is the sun comes up later. I don't like it that it goes down earlier, but it also comes up later. It's harder for me to fall asleep once the sun is already up. That's why I stop. One of the reasons I stop now. The main reason I stop now is because every truck stop around my shipper where I'm picking up tomorrow charges for parking. I went and looked at all of them on the Trucker Path app. All of them charge 10 to 15 bucks a night to park. And uh, you know me. That is my absolute, absolute last resort. I, I refuse to pay for parking. I'm going to be a little stubborn there. This isn't Europe. We don't pay to park. Can you imagine how expensive it would be if I would have to pay to park every single night? Like, let's say 15 bucks every, every single night. 150 bucks every 10 nights. 300 bucks every 20 nights. 450 bucks, am I doing my math correctly? 150, 300, 450, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> That's another reason I pulled over. 450 bucks a month just to park my truck. Just to sleep. This is my home back here when I'm on the road. That's my bed. I'm not even in a hotel. Do you pay $10 a night to park yourself in your bed, in your bedroom, in your house? every night like can you imagine if like the government or some like your landlord or HOA if you are unfortunate enough to live in an HOA I, I don't know why anyone would want to I don't I would never live in an HOA that's a story and a rant for another time but uh, can you imagine if like your HOA leaders or whatever would come like knock on your door before you go to bed and say, hey, if you want to go and sleep in your bed, you're going to have to pay me 15 bucks because you're on HOA land, or, like homeowners association. Like it's, it's, it's ridiculous, right? It doesn't make any sense. It's cruel, it's greedy, and it punishes us truckers for uh, stopping when it's not even, it's not even our choice. The government's telling us we have to stop. Whatever. You know how I feel about that. I won't uh, go into that any further. I already told you the other day. So yeah, they all charge the park over there, so I'm parking here. Ooh, excuse me. I'm going to bed. The morning's gonna come quick, real quick. So I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. A lot of you are watching and aren't subscribed yet. Why? It's free, down below. Go and subscribe. I'm also going to be opening a members, uh, uh, thing on my page here. Sorry, I can't even talk. We'll talk about this tomorrow because I can't really talk. Where uh, you can become a member of the channel and uh, get early access to the videos. Sort of like what I was doing over on Patreon, but I'm going to be winding Patreon down over the next few months, I think, and moving it over to YouTube memberships. That keeps everything right here on this page. But I haven't made that final decision yet because I used to release the videos early over there, right? But uh, it's a bit of a, a hassle 
to go around that way if we can give early access right here on YouTube, then everything's all sort of in one place. And tomorrow, after my brain is a little bit more rested, maybe we'll talk about it a little bit more. But don't worry about it right now, okay? That's just This is just foreshadowing a conversation I'll have with you in the future. We're going to be opening up a members section of my YouTube channel here. Nothing's going to change for all of you. All my videos will still be free for you to watch when they get released. But I'm, I'm trying to find ways of uh, whoever wants to can access them early, stuff like that. We'll, we'll see what happens, so... Good night, everybody. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you tomorrow. <coughs> see you tomorrow.